and welcome to episode six of Rear Window Reflections, where we are helping you to improve your vintage life. And today's topic of discussion is red lipstick. Red lipstick became popular in the 1940s because it was an easy way for women to show their patriotism on the home front by representing one of the colors of the flag. And let's face it, blue lipstick in the 1940s probably wasn't going to go over very well and white lipstick didn't really come into popularity until the 60s. So how do you shop for a red lipstick? With help. Professional help. We've all stood in front of the big humongous wall at Walgreens or any other drugstore and thought, oh, I could totally find a red lipstick. Why not? And we've all bought one and brought it home and put it on and thought, oh my gosh, that looks absolutely horrid. I hate that. That's awful. What was I thinking? And then we've thrown it in the drawer and not tried again. So we might as well have just gotten in line at the drugstore and handed our money to the person in line behind us because it was a complete waste. So go to Sephora or go to a makeup counter and seek the help of a professional and have them help you match your skin tone and they will help you find the right red for you. They'll help you find one that's either matte or glossy or whatever it is that you want because shopping for a red isn't like shopping for like your standard lip gloss it's not like looking for you know like a lip smacker it's it's like a science it's the hardest lipstick that you'll shop for trust me so i have two lipsticks that i wear on a daily basis not at the same time but i have two favorites and they're actually really popular in terms of brands and colors I wear Ruby Woo by MAC, which is probably one of their biggest sellers, and I wear Red Lizard by NARS. Red Lizard. Whew. Cha-cha-cha. And I line my lips with Cherry Lip Liner, also by MAC. And I personally find that lining my lips is the best way to wear a red lipstick because you really want to define that line around your lips with a red lipstick because you want that line to be totally pristine with a red lipstick or a darker lipstick because it's not like a lip gloss where mm, if there's a little bit of a smudge it doesn't really show because with red lipstick everything shows trust me trust me if there's like the littlest bit of a smudge it totally shows trust me I love Ruby Woo. It's super duper 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 matte though. It's really really dry and that's actually one of the things that I like about it but be prepared. It's really dry but the color it's more of a it's more of a blue red. You can't really can't really see it with my webcam lighting but that one is really matte and my NARS Red Lizard is a little bit of a darker blue red that's the one i have on right now and my cherry lip liner is also a darker like blue red blue red lip liner i did however once i started wearing red lipstick and i kind of knew what i was looking for and i kind of knew how to match what i already had i went on to youtube and i was looking at other red lipstick videos and i found a couple videos on old formulas that Revlon still had going that they hadn't changed from the 1950s. And one of their tried and true formulas was certainly red. And this is a blue red that they have that they really haven't changed since 1951. So I went down to the drugstore and I picked out this specific red and I bought it and it's a it's pretty glossy but it actually worked. So if you want to buy a drugstore red and it's a blue red, maybe certainly red by Revlon will work for you, but only if you know about your reds first. So good luck, enjoy the shop, and seek the help of your professional. 
before trying a red. Have fun! And thank you for joining us on Rear Window Reflections.